Hello there, I'm meteorologist James Gilbert. Let's talk a little bit about Lake Ontario, uh, what the water temperatures are, as well as the lake levels as we are uh, heading into the spring and summer months for those that are curious. So water temperatures generally in the low 40s as of uh, 8th of April. I know it's uh, the 10th of April as of my recording this video. Uh, but data is a little bit lagging uh, behind. Regardless, it's incredibly warm. So this graph shows the Lake Ontario water temperature, average surface water temperature compared to history. The orange line is this year. Uh, the red line is a record of 2012. Green line is a record cold of uh, 1996. Average is the black line. The blue lines are basically every, everything in between. So we'll zoom in a little bit more. And you can see that orange line has hovered at or sometimes even above record, sometimes below, since the beginning of the year, and really it carried even into last year from last year. So it has been incredibly warm water levels. It was a very warm winter. It's been a pretty warm spring overall. So I think that trend likely continues with warm water temperatures. Now let's talk about water levels. Currently at 245.37 feet. That's a foot below last year and 2022 as well, 22, 22, and 23 were both very similar years. And yes, it is forecast to rise as it always does in the springtime with snow melt, even though there's not really that much snow out there. Okay, now let's talk about water levels. The inflow has been pretty close to average, at least over the last month or so. Inflows as in the water flowing off of Niagara Falls, as well as just general runoff into Lake Ontario. Regardless, though, uh, the outflows have been above average, uh, really at least over the past, uh, since the beginning of the year, and most of last year really was above average outflows. So the IJC has been able to regulate it. This is still running off plan 2014. You can see it here. I'll zoom in a little bit closer, and you can see that that uh, darker blue line, that is this year, light blue and uh, green, that was uh, last year and the year before that, respectively. And then it's right on that average line pretty much so that's a good thing let's check out the forecast of where they expect the water level to go and i was surprised that the uh curve upward was so dampened i thought it was going to be a little bit more of an extreme rise at least forecast because it's been so wet and it does kind of look like a wetter spring but hey we'll take it so we're right at average uh this is forecast to keep us actually below average uh for water height uh, as we get throughout the summer and really even into the fall as well. So that would be interesting. I mean, you look at last year, how much we spiked in 2023 as we got into uh, kind of um, uh, May, June months. So, hey, we'll take it. I think it's going to be a good summer overall on Lake Ontario. Interesting to see. We'll see if it, we have a crazy hot summer, if there's problems with algal blooms or something like that, uh, <clears throat> because we're already starting off so incredibly warm. All right, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching my quick Lake Ontario update. I hope you have a great day.